Have you consulting your notes? I'm consulting my notes. Okay. Very important notes these are. Can you read then? No. Mm. Look. Look and sit like that. <laughs> um, caravan prices. This is probably the number one topic throughout caravanning. Um, everybody is worried about prices. Why are prices doing what they're doing? So I've got some statistics. Ah, statistics. statistics. So we're going to have a good look in this video. Caravan prices, what they're doing, what they might be doing, what they are doing, and why they're doing what they're doing. <laughs> Did that make sense? Yeah, I think yeah, so. Okay. So some interesting information we've got a 2020 bailey pegasus grand here now in 2020 that particular model there would have cost you 24,500 they're all thereabouts obviously that's brand new so it's not without moves and all the rest of it so that would push the price up but between 2020 and 2022 that went from 20,000 24,500 to over 30,000 pounds, a 20% increase in two years. No. Um, 2023 is going to go up another 6%, so it's going to be about just under 32,000, 31,650 there or thereabouts. So over the last three years, nearly 30% rise in price on the on the new. Uh, Booking it. This is a clipper, but the Barracuda are exactly the same prices, to be fair with you. 2020, you could have picked one of these up, brand spanking new, 34,700, there or thereabouts. Um, 2022, slightly less than 20% that went up in value, just around about 40,000 um, for a brand new 2022. But for 2023, they're going up about 8%. So just around about 43, just over 43,000 pounds they're going to be. Um, so again, in the last three years, they've gone up about 30%. Now, if you think about that 30%, um, what naturally happens is the used market moves with that. Um, something else that's quite interesting uh, we're moving around to another caravan that I've, I've got some facts and figures about. But they did a, or they, they've done a market forecast for the caravans, motorhomes, uh, and it's it's worldwide, so it's not just England, not just Europe. Um, but the current market for, or for 2021, the, the current market um, was valued at about $49 billion in 2021. Um, they're saying that in 2027, so they're still expecting a, a big increase over the next five years, um, nearly 80 billion the uh, caravan and motorhome market will be worth. So we're st they're, they're still forecasting, doesn't matter what else is going on, they're still sort of forecasting that there's going to be a big increase in sales, demand and market. Swift Sprite Major 4 EB. Um, now, this is 2020. When this was brand new, um, it, the figures are slightly different because this is a special edition and it had got a lot, a lot of extras on that were sort of more. But a base model of one of these would have cost you £19,000. Today, 2022, we've got one on sale at 20995 doesn't make sense does it um, and that's not that you've got loads of thousands of pounds profit in it it's because you've had to buy it more expensively yeah, that's, as well that's just literally that the market has moved um, what people don't seem to realize uh, and obviously that's with a motor mover so there's a thousand pounds worth of bits just just in a motor mover there sort of thing but a 2022 version of this is now going to cost you 24,000 so it's it's irrelevant really what that cost in 2020 and I know there's going to be a lot of comments coming in saying well it's not because how can it have gone from 19,000 in 2020 it's now used and it's more expensive that is just how the market has moved um, if you want to replace it and if you can find a 2022 you're going to be paying over 24,000 pound for it and that's that's the top and tail of it and that is why the market is moving that is why prices have gone up 
it, it's it's pointless in looking back at the at the figures and saying, well, actually three years ago that was thirty percent cheaper. Yeah, it was, um, but that is just how the market is moving. Um, the new prices really demand what the used market is going to do because obviously a Buccaneer it's it's gone up 30% in value the used market's not going to just sit there and be the same as what it used to be it's going to move with that a 2022 is going to drag up a 2020 a 2021 the prices are going to move with that exactly the same as a little Sprite Major 4 EB round the corner yes they were £19,000 when they were new for a base model the £24,000 now, so that the used market has got to move with that. Now the question on everybody's mind, or I don't say everybody's mind, because realistically I think if you've already got a caravan, um, or you, you're pretty much sort of saying, well I'm, I'm going to buy a caravan, I'm not really bothered about what prices did, because if I haven't got the caravan, what are my alternatives? Um, am I going to go and spend a load of money hiring something, staying somewhere going abroad the money that you spend on that is gone so people sort of say well it's a waste of money i'm not going to pay these high prices i'm going to go and pay three or four thousand pounds to go abroad that i'm not going to get anything for i've got my one week or my two weeks holiday for that money and that is it uh, that money's that money's gone so but there's still about 30 percent of the market that is is out there waiting for prices to come crashing down until they they buy something and i don't know for me to stand here and say no the market is going to stay as it is i feel i feel um that the market isn't really going to move um which is why we're still buying and, and we're paying we're not paying 2020 prices for the caravans we're paying 2022 prices we're not we're not two years ago we've moved on with the market now and unfortunately what we're having to pay for the market what we're paying for the caravans now is is the market value what is now um i don't see that the new prices in the next 12 months are going to come down um, and that would be the factor where the used market would move. If, if we saw that there was going to be a massive um, production of all the parts and all the, all the manufacturing costs were going to come down, new prices would then come down and that would affect the used values. Um, so I, I'm, I'm sort of hairing towards the side of that in reality I don't think that prices will move. I might be wrong, I might be completely wrong, and that's just my view and that's just how we're looking at it. As I say, there was a market study that basically said for between 2021 and 2027, the market is gonna, not quite double, but it, it's gonna increase from about 49 billion to just under 80 billion. That's a worldwide market, so that is taking a lot of other things, caravans and motorhomes, worldwide into account. So, But that sort of says that the reality of it is that I don't think these prices are going to come crashing down, tumbling down. Um, but I could be completely wrong. I, I don't know. I've not got a crystal ball. I can't look at it and say this is exactly what is going to happen. But for the used market to have to come crashing down, it would have to be that the used or the new that the brand new models would have to come down in price and at the moment with minimum wages parts i can't see that happening uh, let us know in the comments your thoughts i know this is a massive massive subject at the moment that people are, are sort of thinking about i don't know we're taking things on a month to month basis and looking at the market month to month we thought back in april that things were going to go all wrong completely i thought the market was crashing and again that was because of all the people sort of saying all oh, this is going to happen that's going to happen and you start to believe it the reality is it's picked back up it's gone as busy as it was um and i think the market is going to see a, a few more swings and roundabouts but the chances are um it's still no matter what the costs of the sites out there it's still the cheapest form of holiday once you've bought your caravan you've got holidays every single weekend if you wanted to every single week of the year the world is your oyster um 
and that is the benefits and the, the advantages of the, the caravans. Yes, fuel prices are going up, but that means that whatever else that you're looking at doing, the cost of that has gone up as well. So I can only give you the information that is at hand at the moment. That is the information that is there. Let us know in the comments, as I say, what you think. Give us a like if you've liked the video and uh, subscribe if you've not already. Thanks for watching. I'm Mark at the Caravan Place. Thank mm -hmm. you.